Well, everyone, glad you're here. It's time for morning prayer at St. Peter's. Honored to have you here and begin a new week of praying the hours alongside all. We are in the midst, <coughs> excuse me, we are in the midst of uh, the season after Pentecost. We just crested the wave and we're on the downhill slope to, uh, by the grace of God, towards uh, the end of the feast after Pentecost, the season after Pentecost, and then to a new liturgical year with Advent beginning in December. But for now, we are at proper 21. And uh, that gives us about eight weeks or so, seven weeks or so left. On top of that, uh, we are in the 19th week after Pentecost, if you're counting on a calendar. We are also marking the feast of Michael and all angels, which is technically September 29th. So this gives me a great teaching moment in liturgical calendars. You see, every Sunday is a little Easter. And so even with major feasts of the church, you bump the feast to the following day. So technically, Michael and all angels is September 29th. But because September 29th fell on a Sunday, we mark the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and then we move that feast to the next possible day. So sometimes you wind up with feasts being stacked up on feasts. So for instance, hidden underneath the line today is nobody. I thought there was. It's actually transitioned from September 29th on my magic calendar. But in any event, Michael and all angels. Uh, this is an odd feast because... This is one of the few in which there is no human honor going on. This is actually honor given to a heavenly being or a collection of thereof. Michael and the archangels and all angels are commemorated today. An angel is technically a sending of God, uh, one who bears messages. And so these celestial beings were tasked with both uh, offering adoration and praise to God around the heavenly throne, and then to carry messages back and forth from the heavens to the earth, um, from the heavenly courts to the earthly. And uh, we have several images of that from the uh, Hebrew scriptures, as well as from the New Testament. Most profound, of course, are Jacob's dream, where he sees a great ladder going from earth to heaven and back again. And upon that are the angels of God carrying God's messages. On top of that, we also have in the book of Revelation, which you see depicted here in this rather disturbing and moving William Blake uh, etching of uh, a war breaking out in heaven in Revelation to John and Michael binds the serpent and casts him down into the lower depths. So we see that binding. We remember with intention the archangels of God who are Michael, Raphael, Uriel, and Gabriel, each having a particular function. Michael is often depicted as being God's, the leader of God's legions, Gabriel, the herald of God, etc. So we are remembering Michael and all the angels today. And we also remember all the St. Michaels and all angels, all the St. Michaels and all the, uh, the different uh, archangel parishes in our diocese, uh, St. Michael and all angels in Wall, St. Uriel, uh, the archangel in Seagirt, uh, St. Uh, Michael in Trenton, and I believe it's St. Raphael in Brick. I think I got them all. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us the thumbs up. And of course, if you're watching on Facebook, give us a follow. We're honored to welcome you home to another week of ministry and the life of Christ here at St. Peter's. And don't be afraid to share your intercessions with us. We're happy to lift those up as well at the end of the office, or if they come after the fact, we will lift them up this evening at evening prayer at 5 p.m. So now we are ready for morning prayer. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us confess our sins to God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. 
Amen. O God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We join together in the antiphon and invitatory. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise to the Lord a shout with psalms. For you are a great God. You are great above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. First half of Psalm 89. Please join me responding by full verse. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth, I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to my servant, David. I will establish your descendants forever and build your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord? A God feared in the council of the holy ones, great and awesome above all that are around of the Lord. O Lord God of hosts, who is as mighty as you, O Lord? Your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You crushed Rahab like a carcass. You scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that is in it, you have founded them. The north and the south, you created them. Tabor and Hermon joyously praise your name. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand, high your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Happy are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. They exult in your name all day long and extol your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, by your favor, our horn is exalted. For our shield belongs to the Lord, our King to the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Therefore, I will now allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. From there I will give her her vineyards and make the valley of Achor a door of hope. There she shall respond as in the days of her youth, as at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, you will call me my husband, and no longer will you call me my Baal. For I will remove the names of the Baals from her mouth, and they shall be mentioned by name no more. I will make for you a covenant on that day with the wild animals, the birds of the air, and the creeping things of the ground. And I will abolish the bow, the sword, and war from the land. And I will make you lie down in safety. And I will take you for my wife forever. I will take you for my wife in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love, and in mercy, I will take you for my wife in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. On that day I will answer, says the Lord, I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth, and the earth shall answer the grain, the wine, and the oil, and they shall answer Jezreel, and I will sow him for myself in the land. 
I will have pity on Lo Ruhamah, and I will say to Lo Ami, You are my people, and he shall say, You are my God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Hannah, together. My heart exalts in you, O God. My triumph song is lifted in you. My mouth derides my enemies, for I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like you, nor any rock to be compared to you, our God. Do not heap up prideful words or speak in arrogance. Only God is knowing and weighs all actions. The bows of the mighty are broken. The weak are clothed in strength. Those once full now labor for bread. Those who hungered now are well fed. The childless woman has borne sevenfold while the mother of many is forlorn. God destroys and brings to life, casts down and raises up, gives wealth or takes it away, humbles and dignifies. God raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with the rulers and inherit a place of honor. For the pillars of the earth are God's, on which the whole earth is founded. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus he sent a message to Ephesus, asking the elders of the church to meet him. When they came to him, he said, You yourselves know how I lived among you the entire time, from the first day that I set foot in Asia serving the Lord with all humility and with tears, enduring the trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews. I did not shrink from doing anything helpful, proclaiming the message to you and teaching you publicly and from house to house, as I testified to both Jews and Greeks about repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus. And now as a captive to the spirit, I am on my way to Jerusalem not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and persecutions are waiting for me. But I do not count my life of any value to myself. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the good news of God's grace. And now I know that none of you among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom will ever see my face again. Therefore, I declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you. For I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole purpose of God. Keep watch over yourselves and over all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God that, that he obtained with the blood of her own son. I know that after I have gone, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. So even from your own group will come distorting, the, some even from your own group will come distorting the truth in order to entice the disciples to follow them. Therefore, be alert, remembering that for three years I did not cease, night or day, to warn everyone with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the message of God's grace, a message that is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all who are sanctified. I coveted no one's silver or gold or clothing. You know for yourselves that I worked with my own hands to support myself and my companions. In all this, I have given you an example that by such work we must support the weak, remembering the words of, of the Lord Jesus for he himself said it is more blessed to give than receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down with them all and prayed. There was much weeping among them all. They embraced Paul and kissed him, grieving especially because of what he had said, that they would not see him again. Then they brought him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is a song of Christ's goodness together. Jesus, as a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly, you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness, you nurse us, and with pure milk, you feed us. Jesus, by your dying, we are born to new life. 
By your anguish and labor, we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. God be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that, as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. Prayers, especially this morning, for all the little ones, the children who were caught in the devastation of the hurricane, who are out of control and have no power or say and are confused and lost and displaced from all that they knew. Lord, we ask especially that you watch over them, that you give them some peace that you give them some trust in the good humans around them that are trying to help, and that you surround them with your Holy Spirit and your presence. Amen. Amen. Give thanks for the well-being of our nephew Scotty and his family in Western North Carolina. Pray for all those who have been profoundly affected by the devastation. Pray for first responders relief workers and caregivers who are doing their best to return people to some normalcy of life and pray for those who are searching for the lost and for those who are worried and fear they may be mourning so we pray for katie who is preparing for surgery pray for all those who are struggling with medical issues In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Rio de Janeiro, 
Grecha Episcopal Anejana do Brasil, and the Diocesan Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Reverend Neil Turton, and for those who suffer for the sake of conscience. O God, our Father, whose Son forgave his enemies while he was suffering shame and death, strengthen those who suffer for the sake of conscience. When they are accused, save them from speaking in hate. When they are rejected, save them from bitterness. When they are imprisoned, save them from despair. And to us, your servants, give grace to respect their witness and to discern the truth, that our society may be cleansed and strengthened. This we ask for the sake of Jesus Christ, our merciful and righteous judge. Amen. We join together for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for morning prayer. Hello, Timmy and Teo. Wow, we are doubly blessed today. Please do like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Give us the thumbs up. Let us know your prayer concerns, of course. And we will see you at five o'clock for evening prayer. Have a great Monday. Take care. We'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.